after another tragic Texas mass shooting. Uh, raise the age gun control bill unexpectedly advanced in the Texas House this week. That's pretty much as far as it went, though. Texas Tribune reporter Alejandro Serrano has uh, followed this every step of the way, joins us this morning. Alejandro, good to see you. Are you there? Can you hear us? Hi. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Good great, morning. great, great, great. So, okay, so, you know, it was emotional to watch these, the families of the Uvalde shooting victims. I mean, they were really pushing for this, to raise the minimum age to buy an assault-style weapon from 18 to 21. And when these two Republican lawmakers joined in and um, helped give this bill a boost, it, it, I mean, it, there was, they were elated. They, there was so much joy but it didn't really go very far there after that. That's right. I mean, it's been quite quite the emotional week. It's starting from, from Monday when the, the select committee that was considering this bill wasn't even scheduled to meet. Um, and families and gun reform activists filled the Capitol. They started rallying even before um, the legislature convened for the day. And then unexpectedly, they called a vote, and there was a, a lot of joy. Um, but then uh, less than 24 hours later, or I guess 24 hours later, the bill ended up missing another crucial deadline. And while it's not technically dead, I mean, the lawmakers still have other avenues of pursuing it. The likelihood of it becoming law has um, really decreased significantly. Just yesterday, we saw Representative Joe Moody try to introduce an amendment that would have revived the, the proposal and attaching it to another uh, bill, um, but it, that too did also failed because uh, a point of order was raised and then ultimately the amendment was withdrawn. What's the, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess what's the feeling from lawmakers there? You would think if something passes one, th I mean, you know, it passes one thing, okay, now it moves on to the next, but it just seems like these like little technical technicalities um, is what's keeping it from, from, from moving forward, right? Well, you know, it's hard to say because there's so many lawmakers. Um, you know, I think on one end, there's obviously opposition to to any restrictions to firearms. Mm. Um, but then on the other hand, you have kind of like a slight change that we've seen. Um, as you mentioned, two Republicans um, joined Democrats on that select committee to help advance the bill. And one of them um, from the Dallas area said that, you know, he was not naive, I'm paraphrasing here, to think that a law would fix this issue that we are experiencing in the country, but that after hearing so much testimony, he believed this slight change of raising the age to purchase certain semi-automatics could help. So there is a bit of an appetite, and you know, we heard another um, state rep um, following the Allen shooting last week and say that he, he's ready to have some conversations about this. So there is a bit of a change that I think gun re reform activists had been identifying earlier in the session, kind of like a willingness to have more discussion, discourse, but it's still a long way for any of these bills to become law. Yeah, and really not much time left in the legislative session, right? Right. Yesterday was another key deadline um, the House, for the House to vote out legislation, and representatives can still try different techniques. You know, they could try, I guess, um, adding amendments to Senate bills. But again, even if it clears the House, then it would have to clear the Senate and then be signed into law by the governor. All right. Thank you for your reporting. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, post a, a link to his reporting for the Texas Tribune on our website, fox4news.com, so you can follow along as the legislative session wraps things up. Appreciate it, Alejandro. Thank you for having me.